our use case here are um, we're going to test a small office home office which i'm in uh, and the roaming user the roaming user would be the individual who is uh, out and about at the hotel at the coffee shop and the components used in this demonstration will be a Meraki MX, the Cisco Secure Client, which is just newly rebranded uh, from Cisco AnyConnect. So uh, if you hear me say AnyConnect, that's just a habit. Uh, Cisco Secure Client is what it's called nowadays. And we're going to demonstrate Cisco Umbrella Secure Internet Gateway and a Cisco uh, Secure Access by Duo. Cisco Secure Endpoint and Meraki Insight integrated with Thousand Eyes. That is a whole lot for me to cover here. So we will uh, we'll do our best with it. What I have in my home network is, and again, with a live demo, you'll just have to wait a little bit while the screens refresh. I've got a switch, I've got a firewall, and I've got two wireless access points. And ignore these for now, that's a peek ahead. So the only thing we're going to be working with was the MX firewall. Okay? And uh, then I've got Meraki, or rather, uh, uh, Cisco Umbrella Secure Internet Gateway Package, which is uh, a different package from the DNS Essentials or DNS Advantage that both of you, are, that you guys are used to seeing. So just note that I'm going to be jumping back and forth between these dashboards, and they look very similar. So how you can tell is up here it says Cisco Umbrella, and when I'm on Meraki, it just says Meraki. Okay. So... And the other thing I want to point out is within my Meraki, switch real quick to the wireless environment. And I only have, uh, I've got a few, these, a few uh, different wireless networks for testing. Uh, and I'm only going to be testing the one that says Wii TV. Okay. Yeah. I'm not very creative with my SSID. So whatever. Um, this is what I use to isolate my IoT devices, including smart TVs, because I don't need them to be intermingling with my other computers. So this is the one we're going to test today. And I am connected my laptop to this network for testing. Okay. So let's get on with the integration. We will start an umbrella. Okay. We need umbrella and Meraki to integrate with each other because Meraki is the gateway to get to umbrella. We're going to be doing some integration here. So we're going to go into admin and API keys. Okay. And uh, I've previously set up some management API keys. Okay. So you just come into here and you create new. And when you, when you, uh, when you create them anew here, I'll give you a picture of what it looks like. Okay. You get a, a key and a secret. So you just take note of those. And then you jump over to your Meraki dashboard. Okay, now I am, note, I'm in the Meraki dashboard now. I'm going down to organization and cloud on ramp. Okay. When you're here now, this is already deployed. So again, I'm going to flip over and show you a picture of what it looks like. Okay. So you come in and you click on connect to umbrella from the Meraki dashboard. And you put in that management key in the API circuit. And then you continue from there. And then you pick the data centers. There are a number of data centers. I'll show them to you in the live demo in just a minute. The one that's nearest to you, uh, these two are nearest to me. And I click continue. Okay. And so now we'll come back to the live demo to show after we hit deploy. All right. Here's where we're at now. I've already clicked deploy. I go to deployments. And it shows me. Oh, I was going to show you here. Uh, if you click deploy, the data centers you can choose from. There's just a few. They're all over the planet. So these two are geographically close to me, so I picked that one. Okay. So under deployments, I can see I have deployed one in New York and one in Ashburn. And these are actually Meraki virtual uh, firewalls, virtual MXs, that are deployed in the data centers, in the umbrella data centers, that we'll be using and integrating with our network for any of our um, you know, secure internet gateway work. Our next step is to go into uh, our security devices and look at our site-to-site -site VPN because right now all we've done is just deployed two virtual firewalls. We need to tie that into our own environment. So we go into the site-to-site -site VPN and the Meraki site-to-site -site VPN is very easy to work with. 
I should also mention this doesn't have to be Meraki. It can be the Cisco uh, Viptela SD WAN appliance to do this as well. And there are other ways of connecting to this, but this is a demonstration. Uh, this is a lab environment I have in place for this. Okay, so again, back to this. We switched it from off to spoke. Um, if you already have a, a, a mesh environment, you can leave it in mesh as well. And I picked the hubs, right? A hub and spoke, if you will. Two hubs, so like a, du a dual hub and spoke topology. And I picked Ashburn uh, as my primary hub and Umbrella as my secondary hub. Okay, or actually those are just no priority there. That's just, they're in there. And I picked that SSID I told you about the WePV one, okay? So that's the only one I want to use my SAS environment. And over here, it tells the two remote uh, participants and the priority. I want Ashburn first, New York second. Okay. So now, yes. If we go under uh, organization and VPN status. We can see now uh, that I am participating in a network. Here's my MX. There's an MX in Ashburn and an MX in uh, um, uh, New York as well. Okay. So now I'm going to flip over uh, to the umbrella dashboard. Okay. So over to the umbrella dashboard under my deployments. Okay. And network tunnels. We should. These talk uh, set it up between each other using APIs and automation behind the scenes. So you just didn't have to do it manually. You just plugged it in automatically by doing that cloud on ramping from the Meraki side. So it was automatic and quick to turn up. And you can see over here that these are already spun out, but I do want to share what it looks like when they're in the middle of being provisioned. Okay, when you first spin it up there, it shows up there as unestablished, but it's cooking. It takes about 10, 15 minutes, which is why I did this ahead of time. So we could look at the finished product. And when it's, and it's all fully deployed, you see I have two active tunnels and two data center locations from the perspective of Umbrella, one in Ashburn and one in New York. So that matches up, okay? Also, if we go down to uh, um, our Meraki, well, we did that piece of this. And I, and I go back to my Meraki dashboard again, sorry for flipping back and forth. And I look at my networks, now I have two new networks, right? One in Ashburn and one in New York. Okay, so there's that setup. The integration between Meraki and Umbrella is now finished.